Welcome to ActNotes Tutorials, my name is Bert, and I am going to give you a quick tutorial on the concept of operations. A concept of operations, or what I call CONOPS, is a document that describes a proposed system concept, and how that concept would be operated in an intended environment. The CONOPS is developed by the user community to communicate the vision for the operational system to the acquisition and developer community. A CONOPS can also be written by the buyer, developer, or acquirer to communicate their understanding of the user needs and how a system will fulfill them. The DoD definition of a concept of operations is a verbal or graphic statement of a commander's assumptions or intent in regard to an operation or series of operations. The IEEE 1362-1998 1, definition states a CONOPS is a user-oriented document that describes system characteristics for a proposed system from the user's viewpoint. The main purpose of the CONOPS is to facilitate a common understanding of a future system to help in the development of operational and system level requirements. It's designed to give an overall picture of an operation. In defense acquisitions, a CONOPS is used to examine current and new and or proposed capabilities required to solve a current or emerging problem. It describes how a system will be used from the viewpoints of its various stakeholders. A CONOPS should define any critical, top-level, performance requirements or objectives stated either qualitatively or quantitatively, including system rationale for these objectives. It is a useful tool that helps the user community write or refine their initial capabilities documents, system requirements documents, and capability development documents. The main objective of a CONOPS is to communicate with the end user of the system during the early specification stages to assure the operational needs are clearly understood and incorporated into the design decisions for later inclusion in the system and segment specifications. Besides the main objective of communication, a CONOPS also helps in developing operational and system requirements, provide requirements traceability, help in developing test procedures, help develop used cases, and finally, validate requirements. There are several reasons for developing a concept of operations. Get stakeholder agreement identifying how the system is to be operated, who is responsible for what are the lines of communication. Define the high-level system concept and justify that it is superior to the other alternatives. Define the environment in which the system will operate. Derive high-level requirements in the ICD and CDD. And finally, provide the criteria to be used for validation of the completed system. A CONOPS can be developed in many different ways but usually share the same properties. In general, it will include the following. Statement of the goals and objectives of the system. Strategies, tactics, policies, and constraints affecting the system. Organizations, activities, and interactions among participants and stakeholders. A clear statement of responsibilities and authorities delegated. Specific operational processes for fielding the system. And finally, processes for initiating, developing, maintaining, and retiring the system. How to develop a concept of operations. The best way to develop a CONOPS is to use a template. A template will ensure you address the main components of a CONOPS. A CONOPS should not be complex and should describe a proposed system simply and without confusion. A concept should communicate the needs to the acquisition and development communities clearly. The CONOPS should be developed by an integrated product team to utilize the expertise of multiple stakeholders and program personnel. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial on the concept of operations. For more information to include templates, best practices, and much more, please visit the webpage. Congratulations for finishing this tutorial and thanks for visiting ActNotes.